Hi, my name is Maria Thomas Quick, and I'm from Westlake High School, and this is my senior spotlight. Marie is easily one of the most talented and diligent students I have come across at Westlake High School. She has challenged herself quite a bit. She has taken lots of AP and IB classes. She is also the National Honor Society president. She is also a very talented um, tennis player. I've been putting a lot of hard work in for four years for high school, but I mean, this goes back years before high school. I've been, you know, my parents, the work ethic they've instilled in me, the you know, habits they've made me, even though I didn't want to, and it felt, you know, extraneous at the time, but, you know, it really helped me to get to this point, so I'm happy that I'm being recognized and um, that my hard work is, you know, finally you know, getting the recognition that it deserves. But she has a spirit that surpasses anything that I've experienced in my years in education. Typically, when we have students that face any level of adversity, we try to encourage them by saying, sometimes you have to play with the cards you're dealt. Um, but not, not Miss Quick. She wins with the cards that she's dealt, and she expects to win. Uh, so there's nothing I can see ever that she'll be faced with that she can't overcome because she has a spirit of a conqueror. My dad was in an accident um, January last year, and it was in the middle of my junior year. I was, you know, dealing with AP and IB classes and even honors classes that I felt were really challenging. I had to reshape my um, my meaning of success for what I thought was success. I am the sponsor for National Honor Society, so Marie has given back a lot to the community. She prides herself in giving back to the community. I'm planning on going to Georgia Tech to study mechanical engineering, and then after I plan on going to master, or getting my master's in either neuroscience or biomedical engineering. Marie is headed to Georgia Tech, so my advice to her is continue to give back to the community, keep being a leader, and um, also just to remain steadfast in the goals that she has attained or will be attaining. The advice I would give her is to just keep being herself. Keep that level of resilience. Keep loving, loving her intelligence, loving to develop her intelligence. Um, continue to give and be a good person to others. Continue to serve her community. And just continue to represent her and her family the way that she's doing it. 